I'm Max Sterling, welcome to LARP Mix. On today's show I'm going to tackle something I don't think I've done too much of on this channel, and that's steampunk. Now, for me, steampunk can sort of cover a bunch of different genres. It can lend itself into post-apocalyptic, depending on how it's done, and it can also definitely be medieval fantasy. Uh, depending on how your game plays out, things like gnomes, dwarves, uh, alchemists, things like that, they may be able to have a sort of steampunk vibe to them. And on today's show, we're going to make a set of goggles, but we're going to make them LARP mix style, so it's going to be pretty easy for anyone to do, and it's going to be fairly inexpensive. Now, these I actually made quite a few years ago, and uh, they've held up really well, and they're very easy to make. All you need is some stuff from the plumbing department of your local uh, home repair type store, and uh, a little bit of time and some paint, and you can make something just like this. So let me go ahead and show you what you need basically to get started on these. And then we'll go ahead and make ourselves a set. So when you go shopping, at the very least, you're gonna need a pair of oxyacetylene goggles and uh, you might be able to find a different set than this. Older ones will be better, but you need ones with round lenses. Obviously these ones aren't round, but I'll show you what happens when we open them up here in just a second. You're also going to need a one of these trap adapters and if you can find the ones with the red bushings or washers that would be great but uh, the green ones will work too depending on what color scheme you want to do you're going to need uh, one of these PVC adapters a riser extender and everything of course needs to be able to screw together in order to make this all work out in the end and then I also got this uh, CPVC union here which also will screw onto here as well so these goggles aren't gonna be exactly like the ones I made but they're gonna be pretty close and really when you're out shopping at the store see what looks good see what you think you want to do but these are gonna make a pretty interesting pair of goggles now when we open up this goggle set here What it is, is it's these ones, but then underneath is another set. And this has your round lenses on. And there's a part that snaps on here as well, which I've already removed. Now, that part that snaps on there is gonna actually have your tinted glass in, but this tinted glass pops right out. And when you pop that tinted glass out, that's when you're able to slide these type of things right into place and you're already starting to get yourself a pair of working goggles. What you do have to do is cut some stuff though. So we are gonna to have to mark this and cut this down. I'm gonna use a band saw to do it. You could use uh, a regular hack saw to do it, uh, but you will have to saw this off because obviously this can't swing down and have your eye there. So you're gonna to wanna to cut this off. So it's even with this. And uh, the same goes for this portion, which is going to go on the other side so we'll have to cut both of these down so that it fits and that you're able to flip this shut once everything's in place so make sure you cut it flush and uh yeah i'm gonna go do that right now i'm gonna spare you having to watch me cut this stuff uh, but basically you know like i said it's very simple you just put it in draw yourself a line right here and then cut it I mean, if anything, you can cut it a little short, but don't cut it a little long. And uh, you may want to take sandpaper and clean up some of these edges as well. And it's up to you if you want to leave the wording on it or if you want to sand that off also. But let me go ahead and cut this and then we'll come back and talk about assembly, which it's all actually very easy to do. Once you have your lines drawn, this is about how much you're taking off. So. On one of them, you're going to leave just a little sliver that fits in there, and on the other one, you're going to leave you know, a pretty fair amount. So just be aware that whenever you're doing this, your line should be basically in those places in order to get this to turn out right. So now, like I said, you just go and you cut a straight line down there, clean up with some sandpaper, and then uh, we'll go ahead and get to assembling. Now we have our pieces cut out to where we need them to be. So now you just need to decide which side you want to be the longer 
end and which one you want to be the shorter end. So I'm going to make this just like I made my other one where the short end is on the right. And for this side, it's super easy. You just put this piece in there and you can see how now that sits right in there. And this side, you don't even have to glue in or do anything if you don't want to. These threads will stick out past and all you want to do is take this and put it on there like that. And this can be glued on there, which we will do here shortly. But then basically you're just screwing this down onto it. And I like to get this straight up and down. So there's one side of it already. So pretty simple, right? And you have this like sort of green iris here. Now the other side, we're gonna take this, instead of coming through from the back, we're going to come through from the front now. This will give it that look. And like I said, it's up to you whether you wanna keep the words that are printed on there or not. I decided to actually keep them on there for this particular one. If you're doing post-apocalyptic or something, you may wanna do that. For anything else, I would say just sand those off. Now this will need to be glued in. It's very close how it sits now, but you can use you know, an epoxy or barge cement or something. I wouldn't use hot glue because it'll probably fall out. You're gonna want something a little more uh, resilient than that. And from there, it's not too tough. We're gonna take this and just screw it into place. And once again, you can glue all of this together as well. We'll just pull it out. You're gonna wanna get up some wrenches to really tighten this down. And then the same way with this piece. You're just gonna want to screw that in also. And this is basically what you have. Now this part here actually comes off. So I'm liking the way just that looks instead. And you can do this all in copper or metal, but the thing is, even in plastic, this is pretty heavy. Uh, so you need to be really mindful of the weight that you're going to get yourself into carrying around on your head. Being all plastic is going to be a much smarter way to do this. And then we just plug that into place. And this is what we're looking at as far as our goggles. Now these just attach back onto here. And that's pretty much what you'll be looking at. And then these, of course, will flip up. Now what we can do on the back is we still have our lenses. And you decide if you want a clear or one of these. And we can actually glue that back into place as well if you'd like. Or we can put it you know, up in the front or whatever you want to do. So let me go ahead here and I'm actually going to put this lens in here. I'm going to tighten this all down and glue it together and just sort of assemble the whole thing. Now, this particular one, I'm not going to paint because I already have a painted one, but I'll show you some tips on if you're going to paint this and how to do that. In order to make this fit in here, you are going to have to grind it down just a little bit to get it to match that inner diameter there. And once you have everything assembled, this is what it should look like. Now you could have put the clear lens on the back of here, that's up to you. I chose to go with the darkened one. You could also put a lens on this side if you want to, but I decided to just leave it open. And this is pretty much the look you get. And of course this is before any sort of painting or if you were going to sand this down at all. This is just, you know, the raw pipe fittings and the goggles and it looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and get it all attached. Reattachment is super simple. It just clicks into place on the goggles. And there you have it.
So the goggles are pretty easy to make and you know it really follows sort of the theme of my channel where I try to make everything as simple as possible so anyone can do this even in their college dorm room or their parents basement or their apartment or whatever. You don't need elaborate tools, elaborate setups or a lot of skill to put this stuff together and have an excellent pair of goggles. Now obviously I didn't paint these so they don't look like these ones but they're pretty darn close to these ones I made a while back. And you can see sort of the differences between the two. I used a, I think a union coupling on this one instead of the fittings that I used on here, but pretty much the same thing. And this one had the red washer instead of the green washer. And a lot of this stuff you can find sort of in, if you're looking for a red or a green theme, I mean, you're already set. Uh, these things come in metal, like I said, but it gets really heavy. These are pretty hefty goggles. So you want to keep that in mind when you're running around. I don't suggest doing the metal, just because if you do get hit or hit someone with it, it's going to hurt them a lot more than this plastic stuff, but you know, I leave that up to you. Uh, as far as paint, you paint it just like anything else, you know. Uh, the only thing is the body of the goggles. This is sort of like latex mask and stuff are, so if you spray paint this, it'll just get sort of sticky and it will never dry. So if you're going to paint this, you need to paint it with something else. I think Plasti Dip would work. I've also had uh, limited success with putting down just a paint on acrylic, letting it dry, and then hitting it with a clear coat later. But you run the risk of that cracking because this is a very flexible surface. So you may have to experiment a little bit with the painting. This on here uh, is actually spray paint but I had to rub a whole bunch of talc on it and a bunch of stuff. And even to this day, these are like eight years old, to this day, that's still sticky. So spray paint on the body of these goggles is not the way to go. As far as anything else though, these little top parts, they pop right out of the goggles and you can paint those uh, you know, separately. On this one, I actually popped those top two out and I ran a little piece of corrugated pipe through there and I uh, painted it. On the inside I put a piece of uh, camp foam uh, just so it wasn't hitting the bridge of my nose because these are not terribly comfortable uh, to wear. But I do like the fact that you can flip them up and you can still sort of see out of them. And then you can flip them down. And it's uh, pretty interesting because you can still see through both sides. I just think that they look uh, pretty sweet whenever you're playing a game. And like I said, they can fit you know, a lot of different genres depending on the paint scheme and how you wear them. Obviously, if I'm wearing them with a top hat and I paint them, you know, copperish type colors, then, you know, I'm shooting for a steampunk sort of theme. And you stick them on top of a hat like this, you know, you're there. And the hat helps to hold up the, uh, the weight of them. Now these ones are actually a lot heavier than this. And if I had gotten this piece in plastic, this would be even lighter still. But you don't have to put this extension on here. You could just do both of them like this. You could do this with just the one piece of extension. You know, it's really up to you. And like I said, your uh, plumbing section at your local store. Now, not all goggles are created equal. These ones, I don't like. These ones, I do like. They look very similar, but they're not the same. These ones had a wider opening on the inside, and I could actually mount that lens right back inside. These ones, you either have to cut the lens down or glue it in. So, what I would suggest to you is shop around and find goggles that you think would suit this project best and then purchase those unfortunately there's no sort of numbers or manufacturers markings or anything on these the only thing i could do would be sort of show you and you know you sort of see if you can find these i can tell you that they have these little rounded air holes on the bottom as opposed to this style so these may be more like a lab goggle and these may be more like a welding goggle, but I think these are all uh, just welding goggles. And uh, if you find older ones, they're even cooler yet because they'll have little pieces of leather attached to them. And uh, I made a pair of goggles out of those as well, but they were a lot less elaborate than these. So 
I hope that you enjoyed this project and I hope that you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a like and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Click the little bell icon so you're notified when I put out new videos. You know, please follow me on Instagram, Twitter, you know, join my Facebook page, you know, all that good stuff. So if there's ever any uh, new information for the channel, I post on there as well. And of course, if you make one of these projects, I would love to see your goggles and see how they turn out for you. I will tell you that the goggles where I bought them were $6 and all the pipe things and stuff were $9. So for 15 bucks, I have these. Now, like I said, you still have to paint them, but for 15 bucks, you got a pair of awesome goggles. If you bought this stuff online, like off of uh, eBay or Wish or something, you could probably get the stuff a lot cheaper. I just had to buy it at a premium because I was out and uh, needed the stuff quickly. But 15 bucks, awesome pair of goggles that you can use for steampunk, post-apocalyptic, medieval fantasy, or whatever else you're trying to do. And you know, very customizable. And even at that, you know, you can just unscrew stuff on here take stuff out you can have different lenses you pop in and out you can make a bunch of these different colors put lenses inside of them screw them into place all kinds of just awesome stuff you can even get huge extensions curved pieces of pipe and stuff you could put on there you know and play around with so you know still very customizable even after they're fully assembled and uh like i said just a very simple easy project so if you ever wanted a pair of goggles for something, even just to have hanging somewhere as a prop, this is the way to do it. And uh, as always, adventure on.